Thumbs up. It's uh, now Thursday morning. Um, day whatever. I think it's stage three today. Uh, we're going to go see the finish. So it's a bit later now. We're heading out about 10.30. We're going to see Shane Miller because he's got a present for me. And then, um, and then do our loop. Another Strava special. Um, yeah. It's going to be another nice day. It's a little bit cool today. But it is sunny. Um, so the sun might make it a bit bearable and nice. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog and Luke's commentary. He will be commentating again tonight on the uh, women's race. Uh, TDU crit, see how long I can hang in there. I'm a little bit cooked, so no promises, but hopefully it's not as cold as last night. Although when we were racing, it wasn't that cold, so yeah. See how it goes. See you guys out there. Talking about pedal striking. Hey! <laughs> Should we cross? Um, there's Shane over there. Well, we've missed the opportunity to cross now. Um, Shane's coming over. But we're just waiting at the village. Some cookers walking around. And now uh, we just saw the Trek women's team, who I'll be racing against tonight. <laughs> I'm scared. But anyway, um, check in shortly. We just ran into Shane. <laughs> just randomly. Um, oh, you got your shirt Isn't on and awesome? everything. They're actually good quality Look shirts. Look at you too. go, mate. What are you doing today? Um, I'm shopping for Transformers. I need to find Megatron, who's okay. part of the Decepticons, and apparently he has red eyes. Yeah, he does. Nothing. All the Decepticons do, don't they? I've got no idea. My four-year-old has uh, worded me up, so I'm not a cyclist today. I'm a dad. Okay, so Shane got me this light. Um, he reckons they're pretty sweet. So we're going to test it out, see how it is. Thank you to Shane. Let me know how it goes. Look at how sick it looks. Make sure you use the hashtag Be Bright with a Light. Here we go. Be bright with a light. <laughs> you heard it here first. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, gonna use the radar and see how it goes. It's on the head unit. It's down the side. Actually, if you face your bike towards the bus, it will beep. Oh, I'll have to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get off the bike. Sorry, I butted in. Oh, right. So I, I um. I'm Rachel, I founded the, the project Be Bright Real Light. Yes, have you worked with Machine? You've got yes. a post with Machine up. Excellent, good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. um, is this the machine? It is. Ah, by the way. It is hey. the machine. Yeah, hi! You're in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! No, 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 let's do it again, let's do it again. Um, <laughs> hashtag Be Bright Real Life and yeah. the handle, Instagram handle. So, um, yeah, a movement led by professional cyclists to power greater visibility on the road. And it's not too dorky to have a red light in the back of your bike. Absolutely! Here we go. Oh, are they all Ibises? Yeah. So we stopped at the most unfortunate spot. <laughs> There's a dump over there. It stinks. Anyway, we're about 30 k's in. We are exactly 30 k's in. And uh, probably about 35 k's before we get to the stage. Finish. Um, anyway. Yeah, we've somehow managed to get onto this bike path. And it's, uh, it's not a bad bike path, but it just smells. It smells funny. Oh, we're on yeah. both sides. Oh. There's a dump there too. Okay, so we found the dumps of Adelaide. Anyway, let's talk to you guys later. So far, the, um, the radar has been pretty cool. Um, starting to get a bit, of a, bit of a bit of a better gauge of how far away cars are when it's shown on it, which is good. So I can definitely see how it would be handy when I'm riding back home. So I don't normally ride in traffic like this, so yeah, it's good. Sensations are good today also. What is this? Why is it pink? We'll have to be Googling this. Let's stop and have a look. We're at the finish, we're like past the finish line, it's just up there. We're where all the media is when they finish, so not the other seat people right at the end, which I reckon that this is a good little spot. But yeah, so yeah, we are uh, watching it on the, on the old phones. Even though there's screens there, but we're a bit further up. Um, we just had a snag. For those people that don't know, that's a sausage and bread. Um, and a, and a can of drink. Saved our lives, I was, I was on the cusp. So yeah, 
and we've got 15 minutes left, they say. So they say. So, scratch. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. We just got back. Um, now I gotta recover in the next three hours before the trip. Yay! We need to do some washing as well. Ugh. Adult things. For the second day in a row, I am torturing myself by doing this race. Not just this, but I mean, there's 101 people in this race. Chances are, and they're all pros, except for me and people in my team, because we're not pros. Ugh. Wish me luck, I'm going to need it. yesterday said they didn't like my commentary it wasn't directed at the race enough so here we go um, there's about a hundred women in this race uh, it looks absolutely fire for the first 20 minutes it's all completely strung out there's been a couple of uh, riders and groups trying to make gaps off the front um, but it's all still together at this stage a few actually a couple have been shelled off the back but M hasn't um, but yeah, we're here with Tim from Project Block. What are your thoughts? Mate, this is awesome. The atmosphere here at Victoria Park, like the grandstands are packed. There's cars parked everywhere. People all the way around the corners. And the women are actually ripping up the race source. It's like, it's almost single file for like pretty much the whole sort of pack there. Just attack after attack. It's pretty cool. It's like, amazing atmosphere. I've seen so many high aces in one spot. <laughs> Chilling with all my bands. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're about 30 minutes, 29 minutes into a 50 minute plus two lap crit. M's been just holding steady in the middle of the pack, letting everyone else do the work and conserving as much as possible, but the pace has been really, really hot. Like when you're standing next to the rail and they go past, it'd almost blow the hat off your head. Um, but yeah, lots of racing to go and it could all change. We'll see how it goes. I've seen those ladders on uh, Borbies, but not on a van before. Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty team, I'm here with Alex from GCN. GCN Racing. Howdy, we're down under. What's going on? GCN, GCN Racing, it just doesn't matter. Same difference. Same, same. Cool. Um, how'd your race go tonight? Tough, fast, action packed, and uh, I'm glad it's over now. I've finally just started to recover and get my heart rate down. <laughs> That's good. And have you been watching much of the women? What are your thoughts on this? Well, I've just seen them going past a few times. I've actually been super busy trying to like recover and actually catch up and speak to loads of people just like we are speaking to you now. But like the women's racing, the standard is like the highest thing I've ever seen it. They're absolutely smashing it, and it's so cool to see like the women seem growing and evolving 
I think also I gotta say I think all the, the women's pro bikes are way cooler than the men's at the moment and the kids yeah the kids the, the women the pro women teams are kind of killing it compared to the men's the men is not the game absolutely sure do what's on for the trip uh, gravel racing tomorrow maybe a bit of a group ride like bunchy or whatever it's from the beach Saturday morning and then uh Pack up, try and recover as best I can before 20 hour flight home. It's <laughs> back to the cold. <laughs> Fantastic, enjoy the heat while you've got it. Cheers, man. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Looking over your shoulder. You're not sure what to do there. She's not normally known for a sprint. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you going? Long time no see in the vlog. When would have. 20 yeah, the something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, okay. you liking it? How's the race going? Very fast. Emily's still alive, which is great. Absolutely. Absolutely. And she's not last. She's third last, but that's alright. Not last, that's all the best. Yeah, it's really nice, perfect weather. Lovely Adelaide, you know. Thank you, South Australian Tourism, for paying me the $1,000 for saying this. I just love Adelaide. It's just so nice. Definitely come to here every year. Yeah, it's an interesting move for me and Papes. It's a solo ride of Papes and DJ Kel Lula. Thank you, Adelaide. Thank you, Adelaide. Alrighty, so we've got around about five minutes to go, including the two laps. Um, there's a sizable group off the front, and there's probably around about a 15 to 20 second gap to the um, main peloton. Em's in the main peloton. Um, there's a bit of motivation from the main bunch to try and ca uh, catch the breakaway, but we'll see how that goes. Not a lot of time left. Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple. Pretty good. I finished. That's sick. I'm really happy.